Hello guys, welcome back in the Laravel 5.8 video tutorial and here we are going to learn about the middleware in the Laravel. Okay, so let's get started and first of all I want to discuss uh, some points uh, that uh, we are going to cover in this video. So first is what is the middleware? First question arising that. So uh, middleware is the filter for a request uh, and that can provide the condition before the executing the controller or view or your code okay uh, for an example let's say you want to uh, check that the user is logged logged in or not for that there is a two way one is you have to check on the uh, on the top of the every page or the controller of the every page that the user is logged in or not or you can just write a, the whole code in a single page and it will automatically check before loading the page okay and the middleware is doing the same thing that it will check the condition before loading your all other controllers and view pages. okay so the other thing uh, first of all we will make a controller with the command line then we will are writing some code in this and we will try to apply the middleware with the kernel.php file okay and after that we will uh, learn about the global middlewares groups and router middlewares these are the three kinds of the middleware and at the last we will check that how we can apply the routers and our group uh, middleware okay so first of all just uh, make a command line just uh, you will see that the middleware should be uh, present inside the http controller and the middleware okay whenever you are just going to middleware with the command line it will be automatically come here okay so just check here php artisan make middleware and middleware name let's say my middleware name is check is okay just hit the enter and we got some problem here okay i just missed the middleware spelling so that's why i have to write here middleware and you can see that we are uh, able to create a middleware here okay so uh, this is a very simple code with the class and their function they are returning some uh, next with the request okay so uh, for first of all i want to check that is it how is will it will going to work okay so just i'm just echo here and just write here middleware okay so i want to check that before once i am just going to check this request the nothing is printing here okay so but first of all i'm going to the kernel.php file and here i'm just going to write this uh, in the there is a three kind of error you will see that one is a simple middleware and is a middleware group and middleware router so the, these are related to the three kinds of middleware so first of all i'm going to make the global uh, global middleware for that i just have to def, uh, define the router here okay so just you can write here like uh, app and http and middleware and after that your middleware name my middleware name is check age nice and after that just you can put your simply class okay because this is that it's a class nice uh, sorry I had to put here comma so now this is the uh, okay so I just don't need to put it here I have to put it here so this is our uh, global router so whenever I'm going to paste of my uh, middleware inside the this uh, array then it will be append with the old routes so whenever just check that you will find that middleware is here nice okay so in this case i cannot check the if condition or redirect because if i redirect this router is going to work with the old url and your loop will be going to the infinite loop okay you want to check for that you can just simply check here like dollar request okay inside the let's say is uh is is less than 14 and once it's less than 14 this will be return dollar uh, redirect function and let's say I want to redirect on uh, 
my another domain which is the like I have one more router here which is I made previously which is the login okay and it will going to call the login page so I am just going to here call the login now you will see that if you put the URL uh, that you can see that there is too many requests on this page and this is automatically uh, uh, going to the uh, loop that's why you can see that this is a too many requests okay so just I'm going to comment this one to look is nice okay so this is my the another page that you can see that so if I'm just going to see here my control normal page okay so how can I put this for that you can apply the router on a specific group of page or a single page also okay for that uh, let's say you want to add a route with a single page so for that what you have to do just copy this line and put inside the router middleware okay nice but you have to define your router name also so like I just want to call it age nice so let's say I want to check it with the web.php URL okay for that just right here uh, and middleware okay and middleware name you have to mention here which is my age nice so just uh, just for checking let's uh, write here middleware okay so there is something error let me check uh, what is that is that mm -mm -mm -mm. view middleware is doesn't exist so Uh, let's give me a second just I want to check this okay uh, that's my bad I could not use this uh, uh, this function here I have to use after the URL okay that's my bad totally my bad nice so now just try to hit this and you will see that we got the middleware here okay with the two time why we got it the two time because we put it here two time also in the kernel file so if I just remove the upper one then I will catch it on a single time nice so here I can put a condition so let's say I just I want to check that if the user age is less than 14 then redirect okay so I'm going to put a get get request with that like is equal to 20 then it's not going to redirect because the age is the uh, if condition is providing on the less than 10 less than 14 just I put here then you can see that we got in the login file okay let's try to put it once again nice okay so the both are covered now just cover the third one is a group of middleware this is very important and most of time uh, guys want to use this okay so uh, how can I do that check that for that uh, first of all you have to put your um, middleware name inside the uh, grouped okay so just you can check that uh, let's say I want to put it in the web group okay so if you want to make the another group then you can make also another group also but basically I want to put it in the web group nice so now just go to the web.php file and just you have to write uh, remove this one also and now you have to just write a group of middleware so how can you can just uh, do that for simply have to write here route group and inside the group function you have to just simply uh, put a uh, array here which is the name is middleware and uh, provide a key for this and this can be key as in web which is our uh, group name you can check here nice 
okay after that let's say you provide the group here and now you can just simply put here function okay and inside the function just uh, call it like this okay so now just copy it here copy it from here and put it here okay so just use the semicolon here also so i think this should be work okay so now uh, i'm going to remove the condition and just put here grouped middleware nice and it should be watched on the both url because we apply this on the both url okay uh, check is is not exist mm -hmm. let me check it once again okay so i have to put here in uh, slash here so now you can see that this is a group middleware and if I just put here welcome then you will see that it's coming also here okay so let's suppose I'm going to make a URL out of this group just with the out keyword then it will not going to apply here because this is not coming inside the group okay oh, that's actually redirecting uh, on the login page that's why we are able to see this so let's say i'm just going to open it from here and now let's check with the out why is coming here let's check let's go to the kernel and here we have to check this one also so just give me a second I'm going to come back here uh, yeah I get the issues because uh, the web group is already associated with the web.php file so if I put a separate also then it's still uh, going to show over there if I just put the out then it will still showing this the middleware for that I have to remove the group from here and I can make a one more group uh, the name of like uh, web app okay so I'm going to just show it here okay so uh, for apply this now you will see that it's not going to show here okay so for apply this uh, let's just open the welcome.php file it's not going to show still here so for that I have to just put the web app group here because this is the group you can uh, simply check here now it will showing here okay so for this is uh, how group uh, uh, middleware is like to work okay so thanks guys thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe our channel Thanks guys, thanks for watching this video.